Hey, hey, and welcome back. This video is part of my what feels like painfully comprehensive acne series. So if you enjoy the information here and want to learn more about the underlying causes and effective solutions for chronic acne, please enjoy this playlist. Without any more hesitation, we will start with the least awesome foods and work our way to the best foods for curing your acne. Naturally. First up, number 10, plant milks. Oh yeah, dairy industry, you bet I'm calling it milk. Straight up, it's not that plant milks do much for the clarity of your skin, but they are on the list because, quite simply, they're not cow's milk. As we discussed in the Worst Foods for Acne video and more extensively in the other acne series videos, dairy is scary when it comes to allergies, inflammation, hormone imbalances, lymph stagnation, and mucus production, all of which trigger chronic acne breakouts. You'll do great things for your skin and your general health by ditching the dairy. In at number nine, Seeds. Many nuts, and especially seeds, are rich in the mineral zinc. Some cases of chronic acne have been attributed to zinc deficiency and have improved with the addition of zinc-rich foods or zinc supplements. Since mineral supplementation isn't always without side effect, I suggest getting your zinc from whole plant foods, such as seeds, especially pumpkin seeds. Legumes, whole grains, tofu, tempeh, wheat germ, or other foods that are high in zinc. It's also important to keep in mind that zinc absorption can be lower on a plant-based diet, so it's wise to take some simple steps to optimize absorption, such as pre-soaking or sprouting beans and whole grains before you cook them, cooking whole grains and beans with garlic, and including fermented zinc-rich foods like tempeh in your repertoire. Number eight, flax seeds. Flax seeds deserve their own discussion because in addition to being high in ALA, the omega-3 DHA precursor fatty acid, they're also very high in a type of plant estrogens called lingens. These lingens are capable of occupying our human estrogen receptors, which dampens the effect of our own sex hormones. This is a good thing, especially when it comes to acne breakouts, because as we women know, breakouts are definitely hormonal. The DHA precursors in flax seeds are also highly anti-inflammatory, which helps to prevent acne as well. In at number seven, whole grains. In addition to being high in zinc, whole grains are great for improving acne because they're whole, which means that they contain indigestible bran and germ of the grain, what we simply call dietary fiber. Now, our stomachs can't digest this dietary fiber, but the beneficial bacteria in our intestines can, and they love the stuff. They eat it up like crazy, and then they poop out short-chain fatty acids. These short-chain fatty acids nourish the lining of our intestines, and they signal the immune cells surrounding the gut to make more T regulatory cells, which help control inflammation. Additionally, the short-chain fatty acids and other metabolic wastes from these beneficial bacteria trigger peristalsis, or the muscular contractions of our intestines that helps to move food waste through our body. Up next at number six are sweet potatoes. When I say sweet potato, most of us think about the orange sweet potatoes that we in North Carolina called yams. These sweet taters are great, but seriously, there are so many different delicious varieties of sweet potato in this world. Oh my God. Some taste like cake, some taste like candy and pie. They call them kumara in New Zealand and it has got to be one of my favorite parts of living there. Sweet potatoes are magical because one, they taste amazing, and two, they are super high in fiber, which your good intestinal bacteria love. Three, all those colors of the sweet potatoes exist because of protective antioxidants, like the beta carotene in our good old orange sweet potatoes. Beta carotene happens to be an incredibly potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, and is very active in the skin. And as you may know, beta carotene is also a precursor of retinol, which we usually refer to as vitamin A, which is regularly used to treat acne, both internally and topically. Coming in at number five are legumes. So the biggest reason that legumes are on the list is fiber. Beneficial gut bacteria adore the oligosaccharides found in cooked beans, lentils, peas, and other legumes. And you might think that all fiber is the same and is created equal. 
but no. There are so many strains of bacteria in your gut, it's actually kind of terrifying. And every species has their own preferred flavor of microbiota accessible carbohydrate, aka fiber. So it's important for us to regularly eat different types of fiber, so we feed these diverse populations of microbes. They, in turn, produce the short-chain fatty acids, which nourish and energize the cells lining the intestines, keeping it strong, intact, and active through peristalsis. Because, as we all know, a healthy and efficient gut equals healthy, glowing skin. Coming in at number four on the list of best foods for curing your chronic acne is fresh fruit. Fresh fruits are one of this world's most perfect food sources. They're high in fiber, high in water, high in antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and other beneficial phytonutrients, both known and as of yet unknown. All of this nutrition is so good for your microbiome, it's excellent for kidney and liver detoxification, and it's a perfect way to encourage lymphatic flow as well. And before you freak out that fruit has sugar, the natural sugars like fructose and glucose that are found in whole fresh fruits are perfectly balanced with other components components, which prevent the blood sugar spikes and inflammation that's associated with refined sugar intake. Anyone who says otherwise, or claims that fruit is bad for you, is a fucking moron. And you can quote me. Getting up there at number three, berries. Berries deserve special attention for their spectacular antioxidant abilities. What we haven't talked much about in this series, and what probably deserves more consideration, is the study of epigenetics. That is, the study of our environment, like what we eat, how we live, affects how our genes express themselves. High antioxidant plant foods, like berries, are shown to have huge impacts on the expression of genes that control insulin resistance, cancer growth, and chronic inflammation. Antioxidant-rich foods also prevent damage in the cells caused by free radicals, aka reactive oxygen species, which directly inhibits inflammation and reduces the need for immune response. Coming in at number two is turmeric. So turmeric, both fresh or powdered, is powerfully anti-inflammatory. One of my secrets to having glowing skin and recovering from injuries like Wolverine is my almost daily intake of turmeric. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, you've probably seen my breakfasts with grated up turmeric root on top. Interestingly, the active ingredients in turmeric are actually slightly toxic to us, which causes a small amount of beneficial stress and triggers our bodies to open floodgates of natural anti-inflammatory enzymes. There are other great things about turmeric as well, like it prompts our gallbladders to violently purge its contents, which helps to prevent gallstones. Turmeric also has a positive effect on endothelial health by improving improving elasticity of our blood vessels. I use one tiny little nugget of fresh turmeric every day, which is close enough to the recommended dose of a quarter teaspoon of powdered turmeric daily. And please do notice that turmeric is on this list as a food, because it's important, in my opinion, to take it as a food, not as a concentrated curcumin or turmeric supplement. It'll also save you a lot of money by avoiding the supplements. Now. Are you ready for it? The number one best food for curing your chronic acne? Colorful vegetables. I know it's not very exciting, I'm sorry. When humans were evolving, it appears that we were eating a huge amount of fiber. Even gatherer slash hunter tribes that are still intact around the world eat between 150 and 200 grams of fiber every single day. To put this in perspective, this is the same amount of fiber someone on a standard Western diet eats in a week and a half. Fiber is literally shaping up to be one of the most important nutrients for health promotion and acne prevention. Keep your gut healthy, keep waste products moving, keep excess hormones from being reabsorbed, and you're on your way to clear skin. Additionally, there are so many beneficial phytonutrients found in vegetables of every shape, kind, and color that it would take months to detail them all. Reading this book is highly encouraged if you want to geek out on the topic. 
but just to give you a taste, it may be especially important to regularly eat cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cabbage, kale, Brussels sprouts, mustard greens, etc. as they boost the activity in the phase 2 enzyme system in the liver, which aids the liver's efforts in clearing out chemicals and other toxins from your body. This can have significant effects on the amount of carcinogens and inflammation causing compounds present in your blood, which helps treat and prevent major causes of chronic acne. All right, my dears, if you have more questions or want more information, I really encourage you to explore the other videos in this series as well as some of my other videos. I really encourage you to educate yourself and start changing your life for the better, truly. Even those of us in the shittiest hereditary situations have an enormous amount of power to change our genetic destinies. Not only improving skin health, but also preventing the diseases we appear to be more prone to. So until next time, make better choices for yourself. No one else is gonna do it for you and take really, really good care. I will see you all soon.